Hey everyone, welcome to another Monday Mail Call. Uh, if you are interested in sending anything for Mail Call, you can send it to Stu Pluback Currency, uh, P.O. Box 171, Russell, Illinois 60075. That's my P.O. Box. I check that every couple days just to see if there's anything interesting. And uh, this week there was, I got a letter from Quinn. Quinn actually was, uh, this is his second mail call. He sent me the Monopoly notes. <laughs> that uh, that was pretty cool. The original ones and then the current ones there. Uh, but this time he sent me a bunch of notes and he has some questions. So we're going to go through these and see what we can see. Uh, the first note, let's see... How does he say it? Is uh, let's see. First two notes are from the the what is it? The KD block. Uh, he found this and this note, and he found one of them. Didn't think nothing much of it. Set it aside, and then in a separate search, he found another one. Now, let's look. You can see here they are both series 2017, so same series. They are both from the same district. That's why they've got the K. And they are even from the same print run, D. Now, when we look at the serial numbers, we've got 398 and then we've got 417. So they're not really that far apart. It's very easy to see that these would be in the same print run, okay? And he found one of these and he saw something and he thought it was interesting. He set it aside, didn't think nothing much of it until he did a second one and found a similar note. Now, I don't know if you guys have picked up on it yet or not, but what he saw was this green print here. Now, I wouldn't have thought anything of that, just seeing that, because it's real high. So to me, if I'm going through a strap and I see that, to me, that's nothing. But he saved it. And then a few days later, he finds another one from the exact same print run with the exact same green on there. You see how that works? I think that's interesting. Um, having one of these doesn't tell a whole lot of the story, but having both of these, well, I would definitely say that is some type of print error. Uh, it's just, we, you know, they aren't close enough for them to have originated from the exact same strap, so it's not like these two notes had somebody write on them. But everything else about the note says that they are from the same print run, and they have that same green line there. So I would say, yeah, this is probably a print error. Uh, is it a major print error? No. Is it worth anything? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe a couple bucks. Uh, but I think it's neat. So he, he said in his letter that I don't have to send any of these back, but I'm most certainly going to send these back to him because he found these. And to to pair these that way, that that's fairly interesting. Uh, let's see. What other things on here? I didn't even look. I'm just looking here. B4, B4. They came from the exact same uh, quadrant or exact same location. And if we look here... Plate 30 and plate 30. So, yeah, these notes were the, in the exact same spots. So, it is very likely that that's the case. So, yeah, I'm going to send these back to him. And uh, he can, well, I'll put them in sleeves and you can hold on to these. Once again, you put all those little pieces together and that's pretty interesting. All right, the uh, next thing that he sent... Uh, this note, you can see right here, has a portion of the seal right here. Now, that would be a really cool error, except the seal itself is right there. If we try to look real close at it, trying to make out any portion of that seal, and I'm struggling, <laughs> but what I am seeing is all kinds of other damage here to the paper as well as right here so a note like this the most likely scenario is that a note got wet and placed like this and it sat long enough for that some of that ink to loosen and come on there so that's just kind of cool though i'm gonna send this one back to him too because that that's worth keeping i mean once again is it worth anything no but it's still pretty cool and I'm trying to figure out how that would line up. And 
not quite doing it. Maybe it, it might not even be a seal from a one. It might be a seal from one of the other denominations. But anyway, I thought that was interesting too. And it, it, it was, it's certainly something that I would keep if I find. Not that I think it's worth anything, but it's an interesting find. So I'll be sure to send these back to him. Then he found not one, but two stripper notes. And I don't know if you're going to see, but you see how glazed these are over. Uh, yeah. And can you see all of the glitter? <laughs> yeah. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. This one is pretty transparent. Uh, my, I'm, I'm filming this while it's dark outside, so it's hard to see through. But yeah, definitely a pair of stripper notes. Uh, these I'll just return to circulation, so you don't have to worry about them. Then he had one other note in here, and this note, when I first looked at it, I thought this was a counterfeit note, <laughs> but it's not. Um, what we have here is a 2006, and what this looks like to me is it looks like a note that may have been sitting under glass with direct sunlight beating on it, because when you compare it to a normal note, it's kind of faded, and that's what you'd expect from, like, UV damage or something. It really gives the illusion that this is just a photocopy, but you can actually feel the print here. So it's not a photocopy. Um, it's just an odd-looking note. But like I said, everything else about the note is correct. Looking at the back, everything is fine. The back is still fairly bright. It's just the front that's a little goofy. So I have the feeling that this was probably in a window or under glass or something that was exposed to direct sunlight. And that's what gave it this weird look. I'll send this one back to you too, because it's, it's just interesting to have this next to a regular note just to see all the, all the damage that can be done by the sun. And finally, he sent me something that I am not sending back. I am certainly going to keep. This is one of the coolest notes that I have ever seen. And Quinn, thank you very much for this. Let me share this with everybody. Look at the serial number on this one. Is that not the coolest thing ever? If you look real close, he found all the different digits and cut them out and put them on here. Even the Y. <laughs> Those are all just the suffix and prefix letters off of other bills. And he made me a Stuplubeck currency note. <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you for this, Quinn. This, this made my day. I couldn't tell you how... I, I wish you could have saw how, how big the smile on my face was when I saw this note and realized what it was. This this is this is really cool. All right, guys, like I said, if you have anything for mail call, it's Stu Plueck Currency, P.O. Box 171, Russell, Illinois, 60075. I check that thing pretty often, so if you, anything's in there and it's shareable, I will be more than happy to make a video. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you again next week.